The perpetual inventory system, one of its key advantages is that we can identify stock gains and losses. What do we mean by that? Let's say Rebel Sport had the following stock card for Sharon Footballs. It says there should be 20 at $30 for a total of 600 and 30 units at $25 each for a total of 750 There should basically be 50 units. So that is what it would be in the stock card or at Rebel Sport, the computer. If you rang Rebel up, that is what it would be showing on their actual stock computer. Um, but is that what's actually there? So it's probably quite unlikely that there are actually $50. What there could be is a stock loss, and that's where there's less than 50 footballs on hand. Um, so in this case, let's say we had 47. Uh, we need to explain that. That's a stock loss. How do we record it, and how do we account for it? And the way we do that is with a stock take. So the stock take counts up all the footballs, and let's say there's 47. Well, we know that we've lost three. Uh, could be another situation, maybe we have a stock gain. So that kind of seems less likely, but it does happen. So in this case, it could be that instead of 50 footballs, we have 52. And that was identified during a stock take. We count them up and there's more than there should be. So um, the stock card is only going to let us know how many items should be on hand or are supposed to be on hand. The only way to find out how many actually are there is to still do a physical stock take. So what we're going to end up is identifying any discrepancies between the physical stock take, which is how much is actually there, versus the stock card, how many units should be on hand. And there's only three possible outcomes from a stock take. It could be perfect, and what that means is the physical stock take amount is equal to the amount on the stock card. There could be a stock loss, which is where we count a certain amount, and that's less than the stock card. We've got less stock than there should be. Or we could have a stock gain, and that's where we actually count more units during the stock take than there should be according to the stock card. So let's say we were meant to have the 50 footballs. So the perfect result would be the stock take says there's 50, and that matches up with the stock card. The stock loss would be we've actually got less than 50 units, in this case 47, and the computer or the stock card says 50. And stock gain would be when we count 52 units and we're only meant to have 50.